What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 here, bringing you another rad movie review, and today we're going to be talking about Malignant. I finally caught James Wan's new horror film. Does this film fall flat, or is it the next film for horror fanatics that's going to be like the next Jason or next Freddy or next Michael? Let's find out about this. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it. So Malignant is James Wan's new terrifying horror film, or as like we say, it could be possibly called a horror film. We'll get more into it as we dive more in depth about my feelings of that, of course. But of, before we get to that, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. I got a lot of videos and a lot of content, and you don't want to miss anything, so click that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post videos. So let's get into the positives of this movie. So Malignant, it focuses mainly on like our main character, this female character who is, she's having visions of terrifying things that are happening, killings, but we're not sure if they're real. Like, you know, it kind of like the trailer doesn't really give you too much, but oh man, that's one positive that I could say about this film is that the killings in this film are actually pretty cool. I like the killings in it. I like the way that our main antagonist character moves. The killings are executed and all that kind of stuff. I actually had a good time with that part of the film. The gory aspects of it. This is actually a pretty gory film. It's got a lot of blood, a lot of carnage candy. So all the gore hounds are going to be happy with that for sure. Also, our main antagonist character, the main our main villain, that character that is created, I think he has a cool design. I like the design of the outfit. It's very simple, and you know, in a lot of ways, it has a like you know a unique kind of style weapon. So I think that stuff was cool, and the way the movement was of the character, I thought was really interesting, and all that kind of stuff that I really enjoyed, and it was definitely unique, something that we haven't seen before in some movies. Another thing that I liked is our camera work. Our camera work and our cinematography is actually pretty cool. Like, we have some pretty cool tracking shots, like, you know, uh, like a topography shot looking down, watching someone walking through the house that's like, you know, but it's a two-level, like, you know, look. It's like, it's really interesting. We got some really crazy shots in this film that I thought were creative, but uh, did it really, they didn't really, you know, it wasn't enough. All these positive things that I'm telling you about weren't enough to elevate the film to a new level because there's a lot of people buzzing online about this film that are really into this film and I can see why I can you know I can understand their way and I've looked at people like their reviews and what people have been saying online and I can totally see their point of, point of view and their perspective but I think for me like as I said these are basically my only positives and that for me is not enough to elevate this film to the level that I think everybody online is kind of talking about this film. So let's get down to talking about the negatives of this film. And as I said, I do have quite a few gripes with this movie. My main problem with this film is as I was watching this movie, M Malignant, it just, oh, I couldn't figure out the kind of tone that they were trying to nail down. Like for the first 15 or 20 minutes of this movie, it kind of has a very supernatural, almost ghost, paranormal activity type vibe. Then we go into kind of like slasher territory. And then the way the film ends, it doesn't end carrying on any of those vibes from those parts of the movie. Like it really does feel kind of like... It kind of feels like three different writers came in and wrote this movie. And like there, someone wrote the beginning, someone wrote the middle, and someone wrote the end. And then, you know, directed James Wan, they got to direct it. But it doesn't feel like a James Wan film. That's another problem for me as I was watching it. I was like, this feels the least like a James Wan film that I've ever seen. Like I, as I was watching it, I just didn't get any of those vibes from it. Maybe from the camera work, as I said earlier, and my positives and the cinematography, but nothing else in this film, I think, felt like James Wan at all. Also, the acting, I think the actors, the actresses, everything in this film was kind of subpar, B-level, and even like oh, another, my main problem with the main actors, or not the main actors, but my main problem of actors were the cop characters. We have two cop characters in this film, and I think 
all the scenes with them and all the stuff with their side of the story was really just uh, bogging down the movie. I really didn't have a good time with that at all. Like I said, it kind of went from supernatural to like a slasher crime thing and then ends in a completely different territory. So like I said, tonally, this movie's kind of all over the place and I think it doesn't really know what it wants to be. And we have also a pretty bad soundtrack and score. And for me, being a hardcore horror fan, that's one of the key things that really nails down a horror film. Even if you're trying to be an indie B slasher type film, you got to have a solid score that fits the theme of your movie and doesn't take away from scenes. It actually elevates the scene. You want your music and your movies to elevate the scene, not take away from it. And I feel like the score in this movie takes away from a lot of the scenes like there were scenes where i heard it and i was like really like what is, what's happening right now like i'm paying way too much attention to this music and the score and i should be paying attention to this movie so as you can see i have a lot of conflicting issues with this movie malignant like you know i do enjoy as i said the kills the design of the character our main antagonist character i thought was really cool that design there's some interesting camera work in the film but even the camera work in the cinematography feels almost like action style like kind of more like similar to James Wan's like Aquaman like the way you would film the fight uh, an actual fight scene and like that to me it just doesn't fit in a horror movie so like as like I said I was watching it I was like tonally this movie's kind of all over the place and I wasn't really comfortable or enthralled with the film at any time like it didn't grab me I wasn't hooked on the film I was just kind of like huh, all right well I'm a little confused but not for good reasons not like Christopher Nolan like mind-bending confused reasons like confused because this movie like I said doesn't know what it wants to be but overall in my book this film is going to get a 5 out of 10 like it's just a very average kind of B average horror film to me it's probably James Wan definitely low on his list in terms of films that he's directed and this isn't a movie that I would be like oh you guys need to rush out and see this I mean it's on HBO Max so you can watch it whenever you want if you have an HBO Max subscription but it's not a movie that I'd be like oh, you guys need to see this movie or you need to binge watch this and check it out for Halloween. Like, it's definitely not one of those kind of films or not a film that I would pay money to buy like on DVD or Blu-ray or anything like that. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review of Malignant. I know this one went kind of long, but like, you know, I had a lot of conflicting issues with this one and I do like James Wan's direction and a lot of his movies, but this one, ah, I just didn't feel like that and you know all those problems I had with it, but I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. Share your list or share your comments of this film and let me know what you thought of Malignant. Did you love it or did you hate it? I would love, like as I said, to hear from all of you, all the comments. It helps that algorithm and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and have a safe and happy day everyone peace out